Despite the name, the Children's Museum of Indianapolis does a lot more than interactive introductory science displays. They actually have an immense fossil collection and exhibit space and go out to prospect and collect huge bounties of fossils every summer. One of the biggest current projects is Mission Jurassic. The project's goals are to find dinosaur fossils from the late Jurassic of the western United States, and so far they have been very successful, pulling in multiple giant long-necked dinosaurs and their well-armed predators. A major collecting spot for the project is Jurassic Mile, a square mile plot of land in northern Wyoming that has been producing the majority of these giant dinosaur skeletons. Paraphrasing an article in the Cowboy State Daily, you could say they're really getting their mileage out of Jurassic Mile, and their most recent project shows they've got plenty of skin in the game. Hey, while I have your attention, I have two other channels you should check out when you get a chance. Edge of Reality is where I talk about cryptids and the paranormal, anything that is creepy, crawly, and outside of the realm of science. Edge's World of Monsters is where I tackle basically anything fictitious, whether that be kaiju or dragons. January of 2024 saw a preliminary report of a fresh discovery, then being worked on publicly in the fossil prep lab of the Children's Museum of Indianapolis by the Cowboy State Daily. That fresh discovery involved what was discovered underneath the white limey matrix of an Allosaurus fossil that had been found during excavations at Jurassic Mile since 2017. The specimen is specifically a pair of trouserless Allosaurus legs, dating to 150 million years ago, and the tireless fossil preparators at the museum found the presence of fossilized skin impressions. We've been digging in this area since 2017, said Laura Rooney, curator of paleontology at the Children's Museum, and we see no stopping anytime soon. It's kept us very happy the whole time. Rooney was involved with finding the remains of two big old long necks that were prepared in 2020 and put on display in the relatively newly renovated Jurassic part of the Fossil Hall. According to the Cowboy State Daily article, these behemoths required an excavator to remove the rock and topsoil from the fossil-rich layer they were after. We never expected to find anything in those particular layers, Rooney said, but when one scoop came out, we saw a little glimpse of something darker in color, a little bit shiny. We told the excavators to stop and let us take a look. The darker, shiny spot was a chunk of dinosaur bone. It's not unusual for an exciting discovery to start with an excavator finding a piece out of place. But further excavation, by hand, revealed something extraordinary. All of the pieces were just lying there perfectly in one big block, Rooney said. That was the first sign that we had something pretty cool here. I can appreciate a nice pair of legs myself, but I'm more interested in what those legs are attached to, and in this case, I am in luck as this specimen extraordinarily preserved far more than just legs. The big block of Allosaurus contains the legs, feet, a majority of the tail, the ribs, hips, neck, and even a lot of the skull. To put a wee cherry on top of all that, the critter was found in articulation, which means that all of the bones were connected and lined up to one another, as they were when the animal died, which is rare. Despite the awesome fact that the Allosaurus was neatly connected in situ, the workers had to chunk up the specimen in order to get it out of the ground and safely to a museum for preparation. Only after it has been fully prepared in the best way can all of its pieces be put back together as it was in the field, if it even makes sense to do at that point, of course. Visitors could peer through the prep lab windows and watch fossil preparators use dental weaponry and rock smashing instruments to take away itty bitty bits of rock from the fossils back in January, though at this point the project may no longer be publicly visible. The intact nature of this bloke is important because it means the body was buried very quickly after death, which opens up the possibility of more than just bones being preserved, and just such an extra thing has been preserved in this critter. To once again paraphrase the Cowboy State Daily article one last time, the Jurassic Miles Allosaurus is showing a lot of fossilized skin impressions in areas where impressions have never been found before. Rooney said they've identified skin impressions around the legs, but also the hips, chest, and neck of their Allosaurus. Not many may be aware, but skin impressions have been discovered associated with Allosaurus specimens before but none of them are very extensive, so they don't really make the news, nor are they like the mummies of hadrosaurs that have been found. There have been skin impression fossils from a juvenile Allosaurus, 
possibly the Big Al 2 specimen and another adult which had patches from the jaw and underside of the neck. Once fully prepared and potentially described, the Jurassic Mile Allosaurus skin impressions, which you can only barely see where there are some brown stains around the knee parts of the specimen, will help to better understand the types of scales and skin across the body of these types of theropod dinosaurs. Rooney has also noted that some paleopathologies have been found in the specimen, which are always cool, but seem to be extremely common in theropods in general, but also Allosaurus specifically. These guys were bruisers that fought just about anything, it seems. Some have been found with holes poked in their pelvises by stegosaurs, jaws broken and healed in place, and basically every bone in their body having some sort of healed fracture, a la Big Al. If you're a dinosaur nerd, then you probably know the story of Big Al the Allosaurus. If you're not, first, what the hell are you doing here? Secondly, it can be summed up as a big scary predator just continuously stumbling through a series of unfortunate events that left it busted the hell up before eventually dying from just too many issues. It had 19 broken bones with severe bone infections causing huge bony abscesses. All of this is to say that theropod dinosaurs are often found with injuries in their bones and every new one helps to better understand what kind of lives these animals were living. Rooney and her colleague, Joseph Fredrickson, lead paleontologist and manager of the museum's natural science collection, were excited about yet another cool thing about this particular new Allosaurus specimen. It has a lot of its belly ribs preserved. Belly ribs, or what is scientifically referred to as gastralia, are present in many reptiles and provide support for the belly, but also play a role in breathing. These ribs tend to fill out the torso of the theropods they have been found in, resulting in the Chicago Field Museum's relatively new re-reconstruction of Sue the Tyrannosaurus as being incredibly deep-bodied or fat, though in this case perhaps big-boned is literally the apt adjective. The legs, tail, ribs, belly ribs, and neck of this Allosaurus are all articulated and well-preserved, so no head? Rooney notes that half of the skull of Jurassic Mile Allosaurus is in the collections waiting to be prepared, though at this time it may very well have already undergone this work, and that the other half of the noggin is still in the rock in Wyoming. Considering the article was published in January and it's now the end of 2024, and considering Rooney said the goal of the summer season was to collect the second half of the skull, I'm confident that they got it already. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.